talk about it today? Yes. Yes, we do. To build a computer or to buy a pre-built? I get it. It's a tough question, especially if you're new to PC building or gaming or anything PC related. Maybe you're coming from console, or maybe you've just never had anything to game on, and you've decided to go PC gaming, because it's the right choice. And if you go in looking to buy a PC, are you truly getting the best value? Is it building a computer or buying a pre-built? That is the question we are gonna answer today. Today we are going to be comparing a computer sold at one of the biggest tech stores in Australia, JB Hi-Fi, compared to if we were to build a computer by ourselves by sourcing out the parts ourselves. The prompt for this video was that we saw a sale on JB Hi-Fi's website, the MSI Trident MPG. This particular model is running the Intel Core i5-14400F. This is a 10-core processor. It's also running 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM and an RTX 4060. And they've been kind enough to give us a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD inside. It's a pretty decent little 1080p gaming computer. And according to JB Hi-Fi, this computer's marked down from $2799 to $19.59, a whopping $840 off at the time of this video. $800 saved, buy now. Or at least that's what the advertising would suggest. It seems like a great deal. But what happens if we're to try spec out a like-for-like -like computer through PC Part Picker? Well, we've done just that. To the right of me, we've got a PC Part Picker list and the results just may shock you. We are running the Intel Core i5-14400F, that same 10-core CPU that we're rocking on the pre-built, the MSI. Now, in the pre-built, they didn't specify which cooler they were using for this CPU. I would imagine they might just be using the stock cooler to save money, but for peace of mind, we've gone for the Cooler Master Master Liquid 240. This has been a tried and true staple in most builds since the late 2010s. They've had multiple versions with different ARGB fans. You can't really go wrong. Uh, for the motherboard, we've gone for the ASRock Z790 Lightning Wi-Fi ATX motherboard. We went with this because it's got four DIMM slots for RAM, as well as it's got built-in Wi-Fi, so you don't have to worry about hardwiring it in or buying a PCIe Wi-Fi slot. Card. Card. Uh, for the RAM, we've gone for the Kingston Fury Beast 16 gig kit. This is two 8 gig DIMMs, DDR5 at 5600 megahertz. For our storage, we've gone for a like for like, being the Silicon Power 2 terabyte NVMe drive. Look, for me personally, I tend to have a small C drive just for my operating system and all my main applications. Maybe I'd go a 512 or one terabyte model, and then I'd go for a secondary drive just for games, but each to their own. That's just me. For the graphics card, we've gone for an RTX 4060. This is just the Gigabyte WinForce version. It is OC, but I mean, the tiniest overclock ever. And for the power supply, we've gone for the MSI Mag A650. This is an 80 plus bronze power supply. When it comes to power supply, do not cheap out. Go for 80 plus bronze at the minimum. If you care about building a PC and you wanna make it as easy as possible, go for something that's modular. That just means that the cables that you need, you can use, and the cables you don't need, you don't need to use. And lastly, the case, we've gone for the Silverstone Farrah 515 XR. This is an ATX case. Comes with four included ARGB fans. When it comes to case, its main purpose, house the components, as well as have decent airflow. For the longevity, you don't want anything overheating. And when you overheat, you could be, you know, hindering performance or creating, you know, a dangerous situation if you have no ventilation in your room and you're just creating a heat box and uh, may not end well. I'll screenshot the price breakdown here. Of course, this is all in Australian dollars, so please convert as you need. And we have gotten a total of $1,452.77. That is a difference of $500 in the green by building it yourself. With that savings of $500, you could either invest in some pretty quality peripherals or better yet, get a better GPU, get a better processor, and you are laughing. $500 is a lot of money, but it can't all be sunshine and rainbows. Like what's, what, what how? What, what's, what am I missing? What, what's the catch? Well, when it comes to building a PC, knowing what you're doing helps. But if you don't, you may have to employ someone to do that for you. And to get someone to build you a PC generally costs around $100. But if you're game enough to do that yourself, it will cost you about 
two, three hours of your life if you're new at it and you get lucky and you don't have any problems. But if you're a PC builder, <laughs> you're gonna have problems. And then there are things that you might not think about, like loading up Windows. Cause uh, just cause you build the PC doesn't mean it comes with Windows. You can get a Windows installer for free off the Microsoft website, but it won't be activated. Now, if you want to activate it to get rid of that watermark in the bottom right hand corner that you will have, if you're to buy a key online, it generally ranges from about $20 to $40, depending on the key you go for. And then you got the things you're not thinking about, like warranty. When you buy a pre-built at a big store like JB Hi-Fi or a Walmart or a Tesco or wherever they sell pre-built computers, you're dealing with one singular warranty through the manufacturer or the place of purchase. So if you have a problem, you've got a physical place to take it back to and tell them, hey, I've got a problem with my product. And they will either send it back to the manufacturer or they will try to remediate on the spot. With a custom built PC, you will either have to diagnose your own issue, get someone to diagnose the issue, to send that specific part away for a warranty. On the flip side, you don't have to send your whole computer away. You might only need to send one component away. It might be one RAM stick. So there are definitely pros and cons to both. I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite. I go for the custom build. In saying that, my most recent one is a pre-built. I've been building computers for five years. My most recent PC is a pre-built from Lenovo. It's the Legion T7 and I got it because it was on a crazy good sale. It still would have worked out more expensive than had I had built it. The difference was so negligible at the time. I valued my time, the setup process, more than the savings of a couple hundred bucks. Didn't need to worry about installing Windows. Didn't need to worry about potentially breaking stuff while building and I deal with one warranty. Would I love if it looked a little bit nicer on the inside of this case? Yeah, yeah I would. But performance and for what I use it for, it's perfect. So without that being said, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna build a PC and spec it out the way you like and make it look the way you want? Or are you not gonna worry about it? Are you gonna pay for a pre-built and just play the games? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and that'll be really cool. Bye.